Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our 2019 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Glenn Cooper. His presenter is his wife, Mrs. Deborah Cooper. Glenn Cooper attended San Juan Citrus Heights in Sacramento, California in 1974, and during his sophomore year, Glenn Cooper was a CIF state qualifier at 120 pounds. He was also a member of the California Cultural Exchange freestyle team to Japan and Korea. Furthermore, Glenn was a two-time CIF Sac Joaquin section champion, as well as winning the CIF state championship in 1975 at 132 pounds. And in 1976 at 138 pounds, in 1975, correction, and that, that was at the 1975 state tournament. And that's when Glenn defeated Dave Schultz, which was the last time Dave Schultz lost a high school match. Glenn won the Arizona State Freestyle Championship, and in 1976, at 143 pounds, Glenn won the National Freestyle and Greco Roman Championship. Glenn then went on to wrestle in college. In 1977, he was a registered at Cal Poly. In 1978 and 1979, he wrestled varsity for the Mustangs. Then in 1980, he transferred to attended Cal State Bakersfield. Well, guess what? That year, and after in 1981, Glenn Cooper won a NC2A Division II National Championship at 150 pounds for the Roadrunners. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted in the 2019 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Glenn Cooper. Good evening. Thank you so much for this great honor tonight. And my congratulations to the other wrestling inductees. In particular, my congratulations to the Lifetime Award winners who have contributed many years and time and effort to our sport of wrestling. The, uh, the one thing that I always appreciated about the sport of wrestling is that the actual contest is determined by your skill against your equally determined opponent. Almost without exception in this sport, the best wrestler on that day wins the match. In other words, luck is not a factor in wrestling matches. However, during and especially after my wrestling career, I considered myself extremely lucky. The family, the friends, the coaches that I had allowed me to reach levels that I would never have achieved without them. So luck is, in fact, a big part of wrestling after all. Starting with my parents. You simply could not ask for better parents in all aspects. In respect to wrestling, they were always there to support me, but they never interfered with the process, which I believe is pretty hard to do for parents. As for coaches, in the seventh grade, I joined the wrestling team at Carnegie Junior High School with Sebastian, Sebastian Adorno as the coach. Coach Adorno had about 40 kids on his teams that were all arms and legs, so I give him a lot of credit for teaching us the fundamentals. At San Juan High School, I had the good fortune of having Don Crowell as a coach. I could, talk, I could talk for hours about Don, but simply put, Don was an old school coach and we loved him for it. It was the first time that I realized being a good coach is not necessarily determined by your technical knowledge, but more so by your ability to inspire people with your character. Don did so just by being Don Crowell, and with his genuine concern for each of his wrestlers, both on and off the mat. He was a classic hard-nosed coach, but he always sprinkled in a large dose of humor, which is not hard to find with a bunch of high school boys. My first years in college, I had Vaughn Hitchcock as a coach. Coach Hitchcock, as everyone knows, was an institution in this state. Between Cal Poly and his wrestling camps, he certainly helped put California on the national map. I understand that he has passed away recently and he will be remembered for a long time. 
I finished my college career at Cal State Bakersfield with Joe Say. And Joe had a little bit of a, he had a coaching style that, that I really appreciated. He knew we were advanced enough to just allow us to go into the wrestling room and to get after it. And with that many good wrestlers in the room, you either improved or you took a beating every day. So my hat was always off to Joe. He was, in fact, a great, great coach. Now, I'm hearing that uh, as part of my bio that I beat Dave Schultz back in high school. Well, everybody loves the Dave Schultz story. Um, simply in that respect, I can say that uh, here's where that luck comes back into play. In high school, I was a year older than Dave, and that's a pretty big advantage. But even luckier, Dave gained some weight, and I was no longer in his weight class when we got into college, so you got to love a little luck. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give another round of applause to Mr. Glenn Cooper.